This introduction video will allow you to discover the new features of Timio using the software Alpha E. Alpha E will allow you to learn the basics of what is currently called artificial intelligence, that is to say automated learning, or machine learning in English. Using Alpha e software will therefore allow you to learn a new way of programming. Instead of writing instructions to program the Timio, you will train it using what is called the principles of supervised learning, or else, what is called reinforcement learning. But, to explain how this works more concretely, I suggest we start discovering at first an activity in which we use supervised learning to teach Timmy a robot to move along a street. To do this, we will start with the learning phase. Here, you can see that the learning button is enabled. We will be able to control Thymio by clicking on the arrow keys or by using the actions that you see on the right side of the interface. The idea is to teach Thymio to go straight when there is no obstacle. To turn right if its sensors detect a wall to the left. or to turn left if its sensors detect a wall to the right. In this case, AI is remembering the actions the robot must perform, based on what these sensors perceive. Therefore, there is no need to try to go fast. On the contrary, the goal is mainly to teach the robot to move without bumping into the wall. If you make mistakes during the training phase, the robot may reproduce them during the execution phase. To summarize, supervised learning has two phases, the first phase is called the training phase, which consists of giving the robot the right examples by controlling it. Note that the quality of the training is essential in this first phase, since it is what will allow the robot to evolve completely autonomously during the second phase, called the execution phase, by making the right decisions based on the examples given previously. With younger children, we can talk about learning by imitation, since the robot simply reproduces how we initially controlled it. Reinforcement learning, on the other hand, consists of letting the robot learn from its own experiences using a reward system. A reason why, with younger children, we can talk about learning by trial and error. In this example, we want the robot to move forward in the arena, while avoiding collisions with the walls. We have therefore chosen a reward system that gives it 100 points every time it goes straight and 55 points when it chooses to turn. Nevertheless, Timio is penalized every time it hits a wall or decides to go backwards. If so, it loses 50 points. This reward system is visible if we observe Thymio, since it turns green when it is rewarded and turns red when it is penalized. To start with the learning phase, simply activate the autonomous mode at the beginning of the activity. At first, the robot does not know which decision to make. It tests actions randomly. We can see that it quickly decided to turn right, which allowed it to earn a reward of 55 points. Thymio will then develop a preference for turning right. As it learns, based on new situations it encounters or other exploration results, the robot will make predictions about the best action to use based on the situations encountered and the data collected by its sensors. Gradually, we can see that the robot is learning and evolving in the arena. After learning to turn, it learned here to turn around when it is stuck, then to turn to avoid walls, and finally to go straight in the absence of obstacles. When the learning is perfect, Thymio remains lit in green. To summarize, at the beginning of the activity, the reinforcement learning algorithm proceeded by trial and error. Depending on the chosen actions, it received a certain number of points or lost some. Through this trial-error learning, the robot eventually learned the best behaviors to optimize based on data received from its environment via its sensors and rewarding system. The next video will get you started with the Alpha E software and its interface with Timio by going into more detail about what we have just seen. You will then be ready to follow the pedagogical activities that we propose.